Okay, so I'm just gonna show you like a cool technique thing. So basically what I'm doing here is this kind of stuff. So what I'm doing right here is I'm in my E minor scale. And so if I've got my high E string, I'm going uh, five, seven, and eight with pointer, middle, and ring. And so what I'm gonna do is pick the eight and then pull off to the seven and pull off again to the five. So I'm, I'm just one pick, just the eight. All right, so you might try that a few times and then what you wanna do is just start to get that on repeat, like. Right, and then eventually getting it fast. Now for some of you, it, at first you might have a hard time getting both those pull-offs to sound clean. Well, two things there. When I'm doing a pull off here, especially if it's on like an acoustic guitar or something or on a bass, it's like I'm gonna pull down and off to get kind of a little bit of a pluck. So like a, almost like, almost like a little flick, right? So pulling down and off. The other thing too is a lot of times when people are doing these pull offs, they have a hard time getting both consecutively. So if this is not something that you're picking up right away, go ahead and put all three fingers down each time, all three fingers down. And then eventually you'll get to be able to where you can walk it. So like if I do real fast and slow down so you can see the real dynamic, it's like. You can see how my fingers are getting there in time, but that does, doesn't always work out as a good way to train it at the beginning for everybody. So just putting the fingers down, all of them down, and then going sort of trains your, your body to make sure those fingers are there when you need them to be. And even when I'm, one more thing, even when I'm going fast, I'm pressing this pointer finger down the whole time. Okay, so again, you can work on getting that nice and fast. This is a way that you can peak your solo and this kind of thing. But think about this too. I could take this up to scale. So if I'm in E minor, basically I'm gonna do this kind of thing and then I'll show you what I'm doing, but I'm going. Okay, so, you know, whatever there. So, I'm just doing four times each and starting here at that eight, seven, five. And then just move up to seven, eight, and ten, which I'm using pointer, middle, and pinky for, so. Like that. And then I'm moving up to eight, ten, twelve, which I'm using pointer, middle, pinky for. And I just move all that up to ten, twelve, fourteen, same fingering. And from there, I moved up to 12, 14, 15, which I'm back to pointer, middle, ring. And then I did something here, this is something I like to do, is I'm staying on the 12 and moving up to 15 and 17 here. So now I've got 12, 15, 17 with pointer, middle, ring. So th this is a cool, cool kind of position. Anyway, you can, you can take this and... and I, from there, I just took that 17 and bent it up a whole step. Okay, so then again, just all, all together, that's like. You know, that kind of thing, right? Then, you know, whatever you, you wanna, however you wanna finish it, I just finish it with a bend there. Um, but you know, this kind of thing. So again, I'm just running up the E minor scale with this, okay? So this particular technique too, where I've got that 12, 15, 17. Again, this is a nice way to peak a solo, right? I could be an E minor or A minor, and this is a, this is a nice position to be in. Or I might even, like if I was saying D minor, I might just back up here to the D, and then just reach with the same kind of thing. Right, but you can take this kind of thing too, and um, you can move up your scale. So, for example, um, if I was in E minor and I wanted to still keep moving up, like, like right here, I'm just moving up to 14, 17, and 19. So, right there, I was just my ring going from 19 to 20, right? Like that kind of thing, right? And I might, if I really want to take that. Uh, 20, I can bend that up a whole step to get to my E again, right? So you can do things where you, you know, walking these up. And 
and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, one more quick thing to throw at you here with that too is you could just take that up one fret at a time, like maybe something like. You know, just fun stuff like that, right? You walk it backwards, walk it forwards, those kind of things, right? Uh, so anyway, it's just some fun solo technique stuff to mess with. So have fun with that and keep rocking. <laughs>